It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at my top three best and worst episodes of season seven. So let's start with the positive. Let's look at the best episodes. So when I was going back and looking at my reviews and my ranking for all of the episodes in season seven and looking at these episodes and thinking about what happened in those episodes and stuff like that, I found it easier to pick out my best episodes. Now that's because, as most of you know, my opinions of season 7 is that I found season 7 to be much weaker than the previous seasons and I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the previous seasons and because of that it was easier for me to pick out my best episodes because there wasn't too many of them. There was like a couple and then it was easy to choose from them the top three. Now for the worst episodes, it's not because I don't like all of the episodes, but it's because of the structure and I'll get to that. So for the best three episodes, the third best one in my opinion is episode 707. Now it was a bit tough for me to decide whether I'm going to choose 707 or 708, but I ended up choosing 707 mainly because we saw some of the things that I really wanted to see in that episode. One was Carl getting to the sanctuary, doing what he did and getting to see the interaction between Negan and Carl and also getting to see the iron treatment and everything like that and also getting to see more about the sanctuary and the inner workings of the sanctuary. Of course we did see a bit of that in 702 but I found it much more effective and more interesting and more entertaining in 707 and that's why this episode is at number three for the best episode of season seven. There wasn't a lot of action, there was a bit when Carl went to the sanctuary and then when the iron thing was happening, but other than that it was just dialogue between Carl and Negan, which I really liked. So even though there was an action and it was a standalone bottle episode, it was just at the sanctuary mostly, I still liked the episode because it was very entertaining. So that takes me to my number two pick. Now for my number two pick, I gotta go with 701. The only reason I don't have the first episode as number one is because of how dark it was and because we lost two of our main characters. So as much as I loved the episode and found it very entertaining, I can't put it at number one because that episode, I lost two of my favorite characters and just the overall episode, it seems like if you go back to it and watch it again, you end up skipping the more dark scenes because you just don't want to be in that mindset again. So that's why I feel like this episode can't really be at number one for me at least. Not because I don't think it deserves it, but because of everything surrounding it. And another thing that adds to that is the cliffhanger of season six. Obviously it's not related to season seven as a whole, but it does affect it. Because if we didn't have the cliffhanger, we would have much different feelings of the premiere. The premiere, much of the excitement we had was because we just wanted to see it. And he wanted to see what happens with Negan, who he killed. And for me at least, it feels like that episode would have had a different reaction out of me if it didn't come out from the cliffhanger, if you know what I mean. So because of all of these things, I feel like to me, I can't put it at number one, no matter how much I like it. At number one though, I gotta put 716. Now there was a couple of problems I had with the episode, but overall I feel like we got to see a lot of the stuff I really wanted to see. It was action packed, it had a lot of good dialogue, good character development, and we ended up seeing a great amount of material coming to life from the comics, which I really liked. And also, it wasn't like they went word for word and panel for panel from the comics either. They ended up remixing it quite well. I actually enjoyed the way they remixed it. And obviously having the scavengers and Jadis there kind of added to that remix as well and made it feel different than it did in the comics. But overall, it had action. It had some very exciting moments. It had some very dark moments as well by the end. Obviously it didn't go as dark as the premiere went, but I feel like it did get some fans very worried for a second for Carl and everything and obviously for Michonne. So it had everything that a finale should have. And 
In my opinion, it was one of the strongest finales The Walking Dead has ever done. Then this takes us to my top three worst episodes. And this was a bit of a tough decision for me because I liked all of the episodes, but there was a lot of episodes where I just didn't like the structure. I felt like it was very flat and it didn't have enough story for us. And it felt like feller. Even though it had some great things in it, it felt like other than the main points, which were very exciting and cool, the other parts were just kind of like out there and were filler just to fill out the episode. So because of that, there was a bunch of episodes that I could potentially categorize as my worst episodes for season seven because it just didn't have what it takes for it to be at least an average episode. But at number three for the worst episodes, I got to put 703. Now... The reason behind that is that even though I was very excited to see Negan again after, of course, the premiere and the sanctuary and what happened with Daryl and everything there, the episode seemed like it was stretched a bit too long. We ended up getting to see a lot of repetition, a lot of things that we didn't need, a lot of things that were just filler again, a lot of things that could have been reduced and maybe some more interesting storylines and scenes to be put there so because of that i didn't enjoy the episode as much as i would have liked and to add to that that episode i feel like we didn't really get to see a lot of the sanctuary the inner workings of the sanctuary we were mostly looking at the sanctuary from daryl's perspective and it felt like it was dragged a bit too long and it would have been better if they kind of went a different route with it and structured it in a different way so because of that That episode is at number three. At number two, I gotta put 714. For 714, it was basically the episode where Sasha and Rosita have this plan to assassinate Negan. And everything that happened in that episode was basically surrounding that main story arc. And to me, obviously because I knew that Negan wasn't gonna die, it felt like all of that build-up was for something that I knew wasn't gonna happen. Of course, there was a lot of great things in that episode, which I really enjoyed at the hilltop. Most of it was, like I said, surrounding that main arc. And knowing that that main arc was just a build-up for something that would never happen, it took away from the effectiveness of the episode, the impact. And because of that, I didn't get the same vibe from that episode that I should have got. Maybe if it was like a finale or something, I would have been more excited because I would have thought that maybe something interesting would happen. But because it wasn't, and because I knew that Negan wasn't going to die, and Sasha and Rosita's plan wasn't going to go well, and since we didn't really see what happened to Sasha at the end when she ran in, it felt like the episode was missing something. It was just missing something that needed to be there to just give that episode that push. So because of that, that's at number two. At number one, you guessed it, it's 706. It's the Terra and Heath centric episode with the Oceanside and getting to see the introduction of the Oceanside and everything like that. Now my main problem with this episode is the structure. It's because it's a filler episode. It's because it's a bottle episode. It's because nothing interesting happens and it's because it's based on just two of our main characters. Not even main characters. And if you think about it, it was really only about one character because we didn't get to see Heath that much. And it was just about Tara. And I just don't see Tara as being as interesting of a character to have a standalone episode about her. Now, if they structured the episode differently and broke it into different parts and put it in different spots in the season, it would have been good. But because they had it just centric to one episode and a bottle episode like that, It wasn't interesting to me. I just feel like that episode could have been way better. That's nothing against the actress who plays Tara, Alana Masterson, but it's just that I don't feel that Tara is as interesting as a character to me as some of our other characters. Now, if we had like a bottle episode just like that, introducing the ocean side just like that, but having like Daryl and Rick instead of Heath and Tara, I may have enjoyed the episode a bit more. Maybe if we had Michonne and Rick, I would have enjoyed the episode a bit more. Just like episode Say Yes. In that episode, Michonne and Rick were going on a run, just like Heath and Tara. And if you go back and watch my review of that episode, you see that I didn't really enjoy it that much either. But 
I definitely enjoyed it way, way, way more than 706. And because of just the structure, because it was bottle episode, because it was mainly focused on Terra and everything like that, I feel like 706 was the worst episode of season 7. I think most fans feel the same way. I may be wrong, but that's just what I think. Tell me what your three best and worst episodes of season 7 were. So write your opinions in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for another video.